Hello everyone, if you can hear Tommy, he is on the Xbox in the background and won't move. I'm going to be filming a video about sixth form. <laughs> Excuse me, stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be talking about how I find sixth form and also how I'm dealing with the work because um, I don't know they haven't really given me that much work but there's stuff that I'm doing um, sort of like off my own back. Tommy stop with the hand signals you're going to get this the whole video. Um, so I've got some things to like talk about um, and how I'm finding things so let's just go into it and also um, if I do any revision videos or anything like that they'll be on my vlog channel so go and subscribe that one shut up so go and subscribe to that one it's jiggy world so i'll link it down below if i can um tea. so on my first day when i went there i went on the bus for the first time i haven't actually been on the bus like that much before um and i have never been on my own so i had to pay and the person um actually charged me for a child ticket but i'm obviously not a child um, but anyway, the first day the bus broke down, which was really strange, and it broke down, it started smoking, and I think it was because there's too many people on the bus, there's literally so many people on the bus, and I get on the bus with my friend Steph and Jamie, which is good because like I just like to have people there, and I quite like the bus journey because there's like 40 minutes that I'm on it there and then 40 minutes back where you can just sit and like you can revise if you want to or you can just sit and relax or just do whatever you want to so that kind of time is sort of like a wind sort of downtime even when you're like winding up to the day but yeah so the bus is good and then when I got to the sixth form I really like the people um, they're all like I don't know I feel like they all kind of want to learn and do well so that's what I like and the environment's quite nice I also just wanted to show you my bus pass which is here and I really like it it's like um sort of like a florally kind of it's got a flamingo on it and some flowers and a butterfly and I just really like the color of the pink and then on the back it's a really nice sort of light blue color um, and then it's got a lead a lead sort of like a necklace thing so you can wear it around you but what I do is I tie this to my um, I'm not really quite sure what my brother's doing and I think if I told you what he's doing he'd be very embarrassed. I wasn't doing anything. Um, I, th I can tie this to my bag, this is from Paper Chase and my little uh, passport, my little, oh what you call it, bus pass goes in the back here. Tommy, this is my video. I know, I, 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 I have a YouTube channel called GG whatever it is. GG whatever it is. The school itself okay. is a lot bigger than my old school so it's quite weird. Um, to have like a bigger school and like I don't really know where I'm going I still don't know when I've been there for like four I've been there for a week five days um, but yeah it's quite nice there and as for the work that they give you now the work that I've been doing in maths was on the first day I found it hard because they gave us a test um, and I was like oh god um, and I've had a test today as well but since then I find like the work would be hard if you don't listen but if you do listen then it's fine and as for biology actually what was I doing in maths I'll show you so basically for maths we were looking at like quadratics and everything like that we were looking at like quadratic equations which actually at my old school I wasn't really taught how to do um, which is odd for some people to think well why wouldn't they teach you but they didn't teach us a lot of things let's be honest um, so and i'm not just saying that they genuinely like i don't feel like they taught it like enough or like a little briefly went over it like they didn't really focus on things um but anyway so we did quadratic equations which my friend helped me with before that lesson so i was good at that and quadratic graphs or something quadratic equation in graphs i really enjoyed that because i understood it and then in my other class with my other teacher i do thirds and um again that was something that they didn't really teach at our school i know it sounds like i'm probably just like not listening in the lessons and stuff but genuinely i was like they'd briefly go over it in like a 10 minutes of a lesson and they wouldn't you know they just expect you to just know it but like you know you need to kind of go over it a little bit more than that but anyway i picked that up pretty quickly I'm also enjoying doing biology because I really am quite interested in that kind of thing and again I'll show you um, what I've done in biology but for biology I've got a blue folder here and I've actually got two identical books um, for, t for the two separate teachers because there's two separate teachers so I've got two books and they're teaching different things but they're kind of related sort of work um, but that's all that I've got really for biology um, just two books no, no real separate sheets 
with one of my biology teachers, I'm looking at sort of amino acids and all that kind of thing. Um, so amino acids like oh. make up your DNA and all that stuff, sort of thing. And we're looking at the structures of that and um, testing for, um, what words are we testing for actually? Testing for peptide bonds and a peptide is a amino acid. So that's what we did with one teacher and then with my other teacher, just looking into my other book, my other teacher, we started to look at enzymes and I love looking at enzymes because um, they're in our body and like they speed up reactions and all that kind of thing. Um, and it's really interesting to get to know like how they do that and I just find all this kind of thing interesting. So basically that's what I'm doing in my other one. So I'm pre preferring the enzyme work to the amino acid work in biology. And then for chemistry, I've got a nice pink folder it's a little bit too pink but anyway um and i'm really enjoying chemistry actually i think what we're doing so far is just recapping over gcse stuff balancing equations and all that kind of thing so it's really really simple stuff and um i'm finding that so easy so i think we're going to start moving into like looking at the work and stuff after the test that we did today so we've done a test so then we're going to like go and look at stuff so um i'll show you the chemistry stuff Actually, I might be doing overlays, I'm not sure. The thing that I'm finding slightly annoying is the fact that these little guys, these little, um, uh, what are they called? Little, I don't know, you can see them anyway. Um, they are very th flimsy, so you might need to get some more sturdy ones, and they do tend to break in the folders. And also, my folders aren't big enough, but when I have like so much stuff, um, I will then purchase some bigger ones to put that in. I'm loving my pencil case, my little pencil case guy. It was in my August favourites, so I will leave a card up there for you to click on, maybe. I do I say that and it. usually forget. Um, so I love my pencil case. Um, I just like how everything's in there, like sort of essentials and stuff. And another thing that I like, which I would totally, totally recommend buying, is a notepad with these kind of things in it here. Actually, they don't really do anything for me, but I just like the look of them. Um, they, the school did actually give us a planner, but I don't use this because it's just too much of a diary, like an actual diary, and oh, you can't really see that very well. Um, but I don't, I don't like this, okay? It's just too much of a faff to get to the right page. You know, you just wanna get on and get things done. This one here is really good because um, I'm at the back of the book, of course I am, because they actually provide a ruler on the first page. Right. So you've got a little ruler there. And what I do is, is I just, in any subject at all, I go through and make some notes. Hopefully I'm doing an overlay right now. And I go through and make some notes in maths, chemistry or biology, so it's a mixture. And then as we get to the back of the book here, I've got my timetable here, which is here, here, which is here. And I'll talk about my timetable in a minute. Um, and then I've got this, like, as for my timetable, hopefully I'm doing an overlay. I know I keep saying that, but I'll kind of sort of remind myself to do oh. an overlay. Um, when I watch it back oh, but oh, on um, a Monday I have two free periods which is really good period two and period four um, and I love free periods that's one of the things that I love about sixth form is the free periods because a lot of people don't like them because like sometimes you don't know what to do um, but me and my friend Steph go and sometimes Jamie go up to the library and there's these little pods that you can sit in and you're not supposed to talk but we do kind of anyway um, but you can either revise and do work or if you've done all of your work then um, me and Steph tend to just chat or like quietly or we um, just sit there and relax for a little while and then just get a few bits done, write a to-do list, all that kind of thing, organise through my work. So it's a time to sort of organise yourself and get things prepared. What I find good is that you can do, or not can do, but is that you do um, chemistry, maths and biology every single day and you never do more than just the one hour every day, which means that it's quite good, quite refreshing so that you're not doing too much of the same subject. It keeps it sort of fresh in your mind ready for the next day and you are doing it every day so it's constant constantly sort of there and I like that I think that's a really good way of doing things and wow. dotting around the free periods um, is also really good and not just having them clumped into sort of one area of the week as for like making friends and stuff and like meeting new people me and my friend Steph haven't actually hi Tommy uh, we haven't actually um, met that many well obviously we've met loads of people but we haven't actually made that many new friends I'd say we've made like two um, friends not proper proper like friendship group friends sort of like you know you like them um and 
I think that's probably because like you're getting on with your work and you're not really sat there chatting with loads of people and you're just getting on and then it breaks times so they've got their own sort of friendship groups and me and my friend Steph are new to this sixth form whereas a lot of people used to go to that school so they've all got their own friends but I don't really mind I, you know I'm not that kind of person that needs to have loads of friends around me um, so I can just get on you know with the people that I've got with me um, yeah. so overall to kind of finish off I'm really enjoying sixth form it's more independent just so much better. I'm keeping up with the workload by making myself a list of things to do for each subject every night unless I really don't have anything to do. I'm keeping on top of everything with a folder for everything separately. Everything sort of like filed away and I like to make everything neat in my books. Um, keep everything sharp in my pencil case, i.e. my pencils, keep them sharp and just make sure that everything is so organised and I am going to be doing morning and evening routines so that you can kind of see what I do in the morning and evening. So that is the end of the video. Remember to give it a thumbs up. Go and check out my vlog channel and go and check out my Instagram. I'm Gigi Band on Instagram. I'm also got Snapchat where I am Gigi Band as well. I'll try and link my Instagram down below and also my um, other channel. So please go and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. See you in my next one.